Hello Capricorn and welcome back to New Hope Tarot. We will be doing your monthly reading for March. As always, I've meditated upon the cards and I have pre-shuffled. We're going to go ahead and get your energies and then look into the month here with tarot. Let's get an oracle card for the energies here. It seems like you're ready for something, but something keeps holding you back. I haven't gotten a card yet, but that's, a, that's what I'm picking up right now. Higher perspective. Okay, so right now what I'm getting is that you are ready to do something, but something keeps holding you back. And with this higher perspective card, what I'm sensing is that every time you're about to do something, something else hits your brain. And what Spirit is asking you to do here is stop, consider everything, look at what it is you're doing, because what you are really holding is what, it, what you really are doing is holding yourself back. It's really, it's coming from a place of fear, a fear that you're not going to succeed in, in whatever it is that you're trying to do, whether it's, you know, looking for love, looking for work, looking to start something. I don't know, but it looks like you're looking to do something. I don't know what that looking is, but whatever it is, spirit is telling me that it's going to take flight. You just need to get off this hesitation going back and forth, like start, not start, start, you know, keep this because I'm just, I'm seeing like you're going on in drive and then just con constantly pressing the brakes. Let's see here. We have the two of cups. And this definitely could have to do with, again, a, a partnership. Maybe you're looking for a compatible mate. Uh, maybe you're looking for a compatible uh, work area. Uh, maybe you're looking for a compatible partner in business. I don't know. And this could be a lot of different things here. The page of wands in reverse. The world. Page of swords. I'm getting a, a new beginnings energy. We have a couple of pages here. And knight of swords. Okay. Very good. With the two of cups here, what I'm seeing is partnership with yourself, possibly with someone else, but mainly with yourself, trusting you're capable of balancing your ideas and actions and marrying them for an outcome so that we can stop this stop and go that um we were uh, i was getting this this feeling that i was getting with the stop and go and partnering up with somebody and again this definitely could be a partner coming in whether it's business or or relational but i think for the majority it has to do more with yourself okay the page of wands in reverse here in the position of positive energies you need to embrace and what i'm seeing here is do something that you might see as a challenge you might view this something as a challenge it might not be challenging for other people or maybe perhaps you didn't even see it as a challenge before but for whatever reason right now you are seeing it as a challenge for instance something as simple as going out by yourself um, buying a ticket to go do something by yourself that might scare you that might present as a challenge for you or if this has to do with business do something that might might 
be out of your comfort zone a little bit and that might open up pathways take it how it resonates but do something that is is a little bit challenging for you that you might consider challenging once you do it it might not be as challenging as you imagined but again do something that you foresee as challenging in the negative energies you need to work with we have the world card here and for me what this really signifies is release the ideas that you aren't good enough okay uh, recognize you are worthy of having something as good as you imagine it to be and I'm getting the words complete and wholesome I don't I don't know what that means uh, maybe you're wanting a relationship that's complete and wholesome maybe you're trying to create something that's wholesome and I don't know maybe it has to do with with writing a children's book I don't I don't know so place it in in your life how it resonates but I'm getting the words complete and wholesome either way release those ideas that you're not good enough all right because you do deserve the world you truly do with the page of swords here this is in the uh, position of what you need to make time for and what I'm getting here is slow down slow down consider meditation allow information to come to you by asking for guidance because I feel like information is being given but you're not really open to it and not necessarily that you're not open to it but I feel like there's blocks there that's pre preventing spirit from downloading what they're trying to tell you and I feel like whatever they're trying to advise you is getting muddled okay and I'm seeing I'm seeing muddled so and I am seeing one two three three root chakra cards which tells me that possibly you're not grounded at this moment and you might need to work it's funny that meditation came up because I, I do feel like this is when, when you are meditating you need to ground yourself and maybe use words like I have which is a grounding so if this has to do with a relationship that you want I already have this person I have this person thank you spirit uh, for this person that I have that's in my life uh, thank you spirit for our universe God whomever whatever whatever you want it is thank you for for this uh, success that I have in doing fill in the blank whatever it is you're doing and and just being grateful for having something that you don't necessarily have right now but you do have so you have to when, when you are you don't have to do anything you can do whatever it is you want but when you're meditating and you're trying to ground specifically if you're going back and forth in your mind of whether and you're having these doubts that you're not good enough or thoughts that you're not good enough this is a really great time for you to use words as in I have thank you for me having this I have this I have so let's say you know while you're brushing your teeth you don't even have to sit down and do meditation if you don't have that kind of time if you're brushing your teeth instead of listening to music or doing whatever brush your teeth and in your mind say thank you you know for for me having XYZ uh, I have this and this and this or whatever that looks like for you but the I have uh, confirmations are very grounding and it looks like we have three cards here that is regarding grounding so we want to make sure that you get grounded all right my dear Capricorn now in the position for the opportunities um, that we have the knight of swords and for me this is be decisive and embrace the change that's what I'm getting here for this month so overall it's it's about getting back in tune with yourself and not being so hesitant in thoughts and in action all right so once you have the thought go do inspired action go do it don't hesitate don't overthink it 
Don't overthink it. Spirit, again, they're, they're pointing out the wings again. You're going to take flight. You're capable of doing amazing things, but you need to see with your higher perspective, the third eye and not your mind. All right, not 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 your not your mind, but not your logic. All right, get logic out of the way. And sometimes you can be a little bit too logic, is what spirit is showing me here. And I feel like you're trying to communicate something. You just you're not showing. It's not showing me what you're trying to communicate, but I feel like you're trying to communicate something again. But I feel like it's muddled. I feel like spirit's trying to communicate with you and I feel like you're trying to communicate something to someone, but there's, I, I'm, I'm seeing the word muddled keeps coming up. Like there's a haze, something blocking you from this person or from this thing. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with your mind. So let's see, we have the strength card in reverse and this is to verify the two of cups. And I feel like you have to uh, work on your inner strength is, is what I'm getting with this particular card. Uh, strengthening your core, um, not necessarily physically, but maybe you do want to work on your physical self and get stronger in, in that aspect. But I, I feel like this is more about being patient with yourself, being compassionate with yourself, with your inner self is what I'm getting here. And know that you are strong. Again, I have strength. I have the ability to do this. I am capable. I have the capability. So confirmation such as that with the Knight of Wands in reverse, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. To me, this is signifying you're not there yet and you're capable of getting all of this. However, it's going to be a slow turnaround if you don't work on it. If you don't work on doing things that are challenging, if you don't do that, there's no way for you to improve on, on whatever it is you're doing. Because challenging yourself is what's going to get you closer to what it is you want. All right? Because you have to start getting out of your comfort zone. And... The Ten of Pentacles is, it's money and, and, and good things, just, you know, inheritance, overall inheritance. And this could be, you know, inheritance in money. This could be inheritance in, in love. Even if it is the Pentacles, just inheritance. And I feel that if you don't get out of that comfort zone, you're not going to get this Ten of Pentacles energy. Okay, let's go ahead and get another clarification card for yeah so the world is the number 21 and what i'm seeing here is that you need balance in order for a new beginning to occur eight of wands the one the moment you do this things are going to start moving quickly things are going to start moving quickly once you recognize you are worthy things will start moving quickly they'll start moving and when i say quickly that is relative because it might be quick for somebody but it might not be quick for somebody else so let me clarify that things are going to start moving in the right direction all right we're, we're just going to leave it at that but moving in the right direction is better than going backwards okay um, or being stalled, which is what I kept feeling with, with your energy, okay? With the Page of Swords, we have the Two of Swords being decisive. Remember, the two the, with the Page of Swords, I was saying, um, slow down, consider medita uh, meditation so that uh, spirit can communicate with you. And that's what I'm getting here. Once you get that communication, you're going to start making easier choices, okay, is what I'm getting here. I feel like you're going to start making easier choices because right now you're indecisive. Um, and then with the Knight of Swords, we have the Hangman. All right, so with 
the Knight of Swords, which is what we, what I had mentioned about being, um, embracing change and being decisive. So with the hangman here, this is telling you to remain before making decisions, right? So yes, be decisive, but let's not be reckless. What this is saying is once you have meditated and you're getting downloads from spirit and you're enlightened, right? Because in the hangman, the, the person has that, um, that glow around their head, which signifies enlightenment. So in, in this particular card, what I'm seeing is that it, because this is not a traditional hangman card, it doesn't look like a traditional hangman card. Um, I just gave you the visual of what the uh, typical card looks like in the Rider Waite um, Smith deck. But in this particular card, it's your, it's a hand on the ground and a hand from above. It's like spirit is giving you information and they're tapping into the third eye in this particular deck, which is telling me once you get that information, that download from spirit, surrender to the idea and make the decision to do that and embrace it, embrace it and do it. I, this this isn't about making rash decisions and, and being reckless. This is deciding to do something and surrender to the idea of doing something that spirit is giving you, that spirit is downloading to you, okay? Ideas that they give you. That That's what this is about, my dear Capricorn. Okay, uh, so spirit has asked me to get a oracle card from a different deck they asked me i think they asked me to do that in they definitely asked me to do that in a different uh reading i don't remember which reading but it wasn't from this deck they wanted me to do a um a different deck altogether so let's oh okay allow yeah allow and space thank you spirit they want you to allow information to come to you. Be fluid with the information. Open your heart. And this, this, it's funny because this one uh, came down to the, uh, landed in, on, on top of the page of wands and the ten of pentacles. Allow your heart to expand. And this this has to do with things that you see as a challenge. Allow the change. Allow time to work with you so that you're able to expand on what you are capable of and you're able to see what you are capable of. Remember I said that I, I kept seeing murky? I don't remember, muddy, I think. Um, muddled. Muddled was the word that I said. I knew it was an M word muddled I, I i kept seeing muddled and and they were both on the the sword cards which is communication uh, swords are communication there's like clouds around and they're darker not darker clouds but like i shape different shades of of gray and white and what i'm seeing here is that it's muddled and once you start allowing the space to open and once you start recognizing it in this space card you start seeing the clouds rise up and away from around you because in these two cards they are around you in the space card the cloud rises up so you're able to see things clearly this also gives me the feeling of the hangman where the uh, head is enlightened so once you are enlightened and you're able to see things clearly you're going to start seeing opportunities just opening and not only that but once you get out of you know your comfort zone you're going to see that opportunities also just come at you and i'm not saying that they're going to come at you fast but they are going to come at you and you're going to start recognizing them for what they are all right, my dear Capricorns, that was your reading. I hope this did resonate. Until we meet again, have an amazing month.